Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of September 26, 2022, and we've got four stories for you this week. The first one is the Aviation Elise uh, completed its first flight. We talked about them last week, and we'll talk about it some more today. Uh, we talk about the FA that published new vertiport design requirement. Now, this sounds like kind of a weird story, but actually, I think it's uh, the beginning of something really cool. We'll talk about the FA administrator nominee that is under investigation at the moment, and it's going to delay things a little bit for the FA. And then lastly, we'll talk about Kitty Hawk that is unfortunately stopping operation. So let's get to it. The first story this week, actually, I realized that all the stories we're talking about this week have kind of have a bit of a futuristic and, uh, and, and not just airplane, but aircraft in general, but a lot of different things. So I'm excited. Uh, this is the Aviation Elise that completed its first flight. Uh, we talked about them last week. It did its first uh, high-speed taxiway, a taxi, and uh, just got the wheel off the ground and as they were testing things. Uh, this is an all-electric aircraft that hopes to reduce the operating cost and also some carbon emissions uh, for communities commuter, executive, and cargo clients. Uh, we talked about last week how they were uh, signing a big contract to get a, a bunch of these aircraft uh, shipped to new customers. Uh, the Elise flew for eight minutes, which is uh, awesome for a first flight, and then achieved an altitude of 3,500 feet. So uh, more information, we'll put a link down in the description for you. The next story this week is the FA that's publishing the vertiport design requirement. Now, you're going to say, what in the world is this? Well, this is an advanced air mobility story. Advanced mo air mobility is uh, the flying cars that we've kind of been told for the last 30 or 40 years are going to be happening. Uh, this is a, think about it as a large drone that's going to be carrying passengers. But before we can do any of that, we need to have an infrastructure in place. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was having a discussion uh, last week with the team and, and kind of explaining that until we do this, there, there's no reason to create any products because we don't have the infrastructure or even the guidelines. Well, now we have guidelines from the FA. Uh, this covers the geometry, the lighting, the marking, all the different visual aids. Essentially, it's like building an airport, but it's called a vertiport because uh, it's going to be a place where these uh, aircraft are going to be taking off and landing vertically. Uh, think about it as a, a mix between a helicopter uh, that turns into an airplane eventually. So that's a, a VTOL aircraft, vertical takeoff and landing. Uh, the person from the FA, the associate administrator for the airport said that uh, our country is stepping up into a new era of aviation and I do have to agree with that. Uh, these vertiport design standards provide the foundation that's needed to begin safety bu safely building uh, infrastructures in this new era. So I think this is cool. Uh, it's, it's futuristic. I think it's it's still uh, several years away from happening, but uh, you know we need to start somewhere. Uh, I'm excited to see somewhat of a, a new branch of aviation starting and uh, peering under our eyes. This is uh, cool to see it being developed. And speaking of the FA, the nominee for the FA administrator position, his name is Phil Washington. We talked about this a, a while back. He is currently under investigation for uh, criminal corruption in the case out of LA County. Uh, Washington has publicly denied any wrongdoing, but the case appears to be uh, stalling the confirmation by the Senate. Uh, a whistleblower came up and complained uh, that stated that uh, Washington had negotiated a contract uh, worth $150,000 dollars per year uh, to provide a sexual assault hotline for the um, uh, Metro Transit Authority. Uh, it looks like they only got a few calls and it also looks like the company that he contracted with uh, to provide the services were um, led by a friend of his boss. Now, uh, the both of them, the boss or the, the former boss and himself are in the middle of this, uh, this criminal corruption uh, investigation. So uh, we'll see what happens. In the meantime, there's still uh, uh, an administrator that's out there or a temporary administrator that's out there for the FA. Uh, he's a former airline pilot, seems to be doing the job pretty well. So uh, my vote is why don't we give it to him? Um, all right, the next story is Kitty Hawk. Kitty Hawk is a urban air mobility, we just talked about UAM, a company that was actually designing drones and they announced that they will be closing their doors, unfortunately. Uh, there's no closing date at the moment uh, and uh, that they have announced, but uh, there was a joint venture with WISC and Boeing. It looks like that WISC and Boeing uh, venture is going to continue going from here. Uh, it's too bad. I think it's um, it's extremely early, quite frankly, uh, to be developing all these aircraft, like I mentioned before, because there is no real infrastructure or even actually regulation or solid regulation at the moment. So uh, we'll see what happens to the other players. 
I hope this continues. I think this has a lot of potential uh, to somewhat decongest the airspace. I know it sounds uh, maybe counterintuitive, but I think this, this might help uh, creating better transportation for a lot of people. So that's it. That's all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.